produced x squared and that is produced to p this and this and these are produced at m to form an isosceles that is equal to that so which means this like this line is the same as is equal to that okay and then np is 4 md is 3 so this is a 3 that's a 4 then first question comes show us that the area of efgf is this much for max so first things first when i looked at this question i was a bit worried i was a bit stressed and what is going on but then uh, they gave us this as a 90. we know that with the rectangle the interior angles are also 90 degrees they are perpendicular what does this mean it simply means that this line is parallel to that line okay then i don't know why this question was asked in paper one but uh, it's fine it's measurement isn't it? what does that make that this line is parallel to that this creates what we call uh, the midpoint theorem or triangles that are similar or proportions that's what we're going to use here for some point okay so what this tells us is that uh, if this total distance is a four which means that just this section alone is going to be a two if that is a two then this is a one so then i'm going to say that uh, x squared i'm dividing it by the total here which is a two is equal to this line b over the total which is three because they told us that total distance is three then i need to make b the subject which is going to be three over two x squared so i'm using this and this so this one is not going to play a big role for me let me just use this so x squared over the total which is two over b divided by that whole thing okay so having said that then i can go on and get my area so we know that the length of the rectangle is going to be four minus two x squared okay because this is x squared this x squared i'm subtracting these two from four to get my length now i already have my height as the b which is three over two x squared then i just need to multiply this so area is length times the width which is um 3 over 2x squared into 4 minus 2x squared. So 3 over 2 times 4, that's going to give me 6x squared. Okay, minus 3 over 2 times 2, that's going to be 3x to the 4. So this is my area, and that's what they gave me. Okay, then calculate the maximum area for the triangle. So for maximum area, we need to find the derivative dA by the x what's going on okay so i'm saying a by the x so that's gonna be 12 x minus 12 x cubed then i'm going to equate this to zero take out what is common that's gonna be 12 x i'll be left with one minus x squared is equal to zero so either x is a zero and then when I break this down, I'll have 1 minus x, and then 1 plus x. Oh, I'll have x as a 1, and then x as a negative 1. So these are the possible values of x. Now, the question wants the maximum area. So then I'm going to just get these numbers of mine and try to substitute them into this formula. So what is a0? That's 0. If I use a1, that's going to be 6 times 1 minus 3 times 1 to the 4. Those are just going to be 1s. So that's going to be 3 units. Now they talked about centimeters. So let me just call them 3 centimeters squared. Then if I try to use the negative sign as well, I'm going to end up with the same thing. So which means that my maximum area is just... <laughs>